have uh, in talking to your teammates so far today, there's been a lot of conversation about what it would mean to win the mm-hmm. SEC. Just what would that mean if you guys were able to win on Saturday, particularly the fact that, that you guys haven't won the time? Yeah, um, like I said, we, I mean, since I've been here, uh, obviously won the national championship, but one of our goals is all, every year is uh, win the SEC championship. So, um, yeah, that's a, that's a big goal for us, and it would be a huge accomplishment. I mean, yeah, just like, like execution. Um, I feel like we have a have a great game plan in. Um, we, we just got to go out and, and do it. Whether it's not running the best route, whether it's not blocking it right, whether it's not making the right read. Um, I mean, yeah, there's just a bunch of little things that go into it, and I mean that's what we work on every single day. So, uh, yeah, just kind of get back to it and help it. Yeah, just as a follow up, is it frustrating knowing that it's so many little things keeping you from it, or is it encouraging knowing? Okay, if we just clean up these little bitty things, we'll, we'll get that. You kind of yeah, that? I mean, I guess you could say both. Um, obviously, you want to score touchdowns in the red zone. Like, that's that's the ultimate goal. You don't want to settle for field goals, even though Pod has done a great job. Um, but, yeah, you I mean, you want to score touchdowns, so at times you're like, yeah, I mean, we're, we're out there. We can score. But then again, it's like we just put this drive together. We, we just moved the ball down the field. I mean, what's stopping us? So, I mean, yeah, just kind of – like I said, just cleaning those those little things up, and I mean, I think we can do that. And once we do, it'll be be good. Lad, I know this is this is kind of old history, but I'm I'm curious when I look at your career now, and I see you tied for the team leading receptions and making these special teams play. And a few years ago, you're you're the guy that was the project, and people wondered about, well, why is he getting a scholarship? What yeah. what kept you driving forward, and what gave you the confidence that that you could come in and play a program, much less start a program? Going back then and, and even now, how do you keep that shit? Uh, I mean, yeah, just kind of like seeing those guys um, that were on the field my freshman year, and just like watching them and how much fun they were having, um, and like how exciting it is to be able to play out there. That's kind of what, what drove me to just kind of get out there and, and want to do it. Cause, I mean, no one wants to, to practice all week and not play. Like, it, it's hard, and that's just some struggles you have to go through when you're a younger guy. And, I mean, that's I feel like a lot of guys now are, aren't wanting to do that. But, I mean, if you put your head down and grind and just kind of listen to what everyone has to say and just kind of keep doing doing the little things right, I feel like it eventually pays off for you. What about the confidence, though? I mean, you were, like, the biggest or strongest mm-hmm. guy that we knew of at the time. What, yeah. What gave you the confidence to think you could compete here? Um, really just kind of going up against those guys every day. Like, I, I mean, I, I knew I could do it. I, I was doing it, I feel like, day in and day out. And, I mean, the, a lot of those guys, when I was a freshman, were, were kind of telling me, like, if you keep, keep stick with it, like you won't be good. Like you can you can do, get it done. So yeah, just kind of having like other players and like little co- like coaches telling me and um, yeah, just kind of give me that confidence and kind of boosted it for myself as well. <laughs> a couple of different times on screen passes this year, Rodney Jones has shown an ability to get downfield and just, yeah. just deplete defensive backs. What's allowed him to to make that kind of an impact on a screen player or a play like that and be such an effective downfield blocker? Yeah, I mean it's not every day that you see a someone that's 300 pounds, as big as him, being able to move like that. Um, he's freakish athletic, and I feel like that's really what separates him from, from everybody. Like, there's a lot of guys that are 300 pounds. There's a lot of guys that are 6'5 or whatever, but to be able to move like that and, and like you said, block DBs. Like, it's it's hard for a big guy to, to block in space. So for him to be able to do that, I mean, it just kind of shows what, what he does in practice every day also to work on it and kind of – Build, build what he what he needs to be able to do that. So yeah, I mean he's an extremely hard worker, and I feel like that's just something that that's came with. I mean he's obviously athletic, but he has to work, and I mean I feel like it's really paid off for him. Dad, what's it like to, to play for Kirby? He's known for being demanding. Did it, did it take a thick skin to you know, know that uh, there might be some criticism that, that uh, it's kind of harsh? Um, I think I, I mean I think Keeley told y'all. A couple weeks ago, you got to listen to the, to the message and not the tone. And I mean, yeah, the the defense probably gets a little bit more than the offense with just how Coach Mark coaches. But yeah, I mean, it's obviously he's a, he's a great coach and he wants the best out of you. So, I mean, if you can't if you can't take that coaching and you don't want to be coached, then you're probably not at the right place. He's he's wanting you to be the best best you can be. And I mean, I feel like every single player should should want that. So 
he just wants the best for us all. So, I mean, obviously he might come off wrong sometimes, just like any other coach. But at the end of the day, he wants what's best for, for you and what's best for the program. Um, I mean, yeah, uh, I feel like a lot of it is like you kind of get things rolling and, and just like you said, it just kind of keeps going. So once we find that rhythm and, uh, and, and get that rhythm about us, I mean, it, it, I feel like it's hard to stop us. I mean, we have so many playmakers that can make a bunch of plays, um, great calls. So, I mean, yeah, uh, like I said, just get that rhythm going. And, and once that happens, I feel like it just it just builds on top of that. Lad, we had a chance to talk to Warren earlier, and he talked about the offensive linemen really kind of challenged themselves mm -hmm. to block better in the run game. We've mm -hmm. kind of seen that. Yeah. What have you seen from those guys when it comes to run blocking, and just how important is their role in, in the entire offense? Yeah. To to block like that? Uh, I mean, yeah, that means so much to those guys up front. Like, they, they want to be the best O line in the country. And the thing is, we don't just play 5 0 linemen. Like, we're rotating in all the time. And, I mean, our coaches and, and them, they don't expect anything to to drop when one person comes out, another one comes in. I mean, it's same standard, and I feel like they've done a great job of that. Um, I mean, yeah, they they work every single day, like team run periods. They're they're fired up, ready to get after it. So it's just a testament to how hard they work, and I mean, it really shows. And they want to be the best they can be. So I mean, they're going to go out there and give it their all and do what they need to do. That you guys finished the uh, twelve and zero regular season last year. Same thing mm -hmm. this year. How can you kind of compare the feeling heading into the SEC championship game this year versus last year, and maybe how this team maybe feels different heading into it? Um. Yeah. Uh, I mean, SEC championships are hard to come by, like we said. Um. Yeah. I mean, I haven't won one since we've been here. A lot of guys have not won one. Been in been in it before, but haven't won it. So, I mean, we know how much of a, a challenge it is to get to this point, and how much of a challenge it, challenge it is going to be for the rest of the year. So yeah, just we want to go out and take it one game at a time, and just put our, our best foot forward and do what we need to do to get the win. As a receiver, you're kind of the short area quickness, quick twist kind of guy. Uh, going from grass to turf this week, uh, what is the difference for you? Just making a lot of cuts and stuff like that. And do you think the receivers will get a lot of work in the indoor field, just making those cuts in practice? I mean, we're playing on the on the same field they are, so I mean, you can't really say it's different for us than any other week. I mean. You get your foot and feel it in warm ups, and that's the biggest thing. Kind of go out there and and have a great warm up and get the get the feeling for it, and then it was. I mean, we played in the dome before, or yeah, Mercedes Dome. So uh, yeah, we played there a couple of times. So I mean, we know what it's like. Um, I mean, I'm sure they played in turf before, so it's it's not going to be too much of a difference for us. Lad, what was your reaction when Rico Jenkins went to LSU? Did you think the pull of his home state would, would be a big deal for him? Uh, I mean, it was probably. I mean, maybe. I, I'm not. I'm not really sure what all went into it, but I mean, I, I wish nothing for the for the best for Coach Hank. Um, he was always a great guy, always a, a great leader for us, and he did so much for me. So I mean, yeah, I'm, I was thankful for him and for that opportunity he got. So I mean, I have no hard feelings. Like he do what he needs to do, and I mean, I'm I'm supporting him all the way. So. I almost hate to bring it up, but you had a few drops early in the year. Mm -hmm. I don't think you had anything here of late. Yeah. Uh, is, can you, was there a story there where, uh, you know, you're out at midnight catching on a judge machine or you change gloves or any great things like that? Uh, I mean, not really. Uh, I mean, obviously get some get extra catches after practice, like get back to the basics, and that was kind of something I really wanted to do, just just focus focus on the point of the ball. Uh, so, yeah, like I don't, I don't think it was – a lack of ability for me. Um, it was really just kind of not locking in, not not seeing it, trying to maybe do something a little bit too much before I caught it. So yeah, just kind of get back to the basics. And I mean, you can't do anything without without the ball in your hand. So just being able to to focus in and lock in on that, and then once I once I get it, then make the play. But I mean, that's the first priority is, is catching the ball. So let's take one more question, please. Uh, when we talked to Coach Smart earlier, he was mm -hmm. asked about. Everything that's put on Stetson in this offense, just how comfortable are you with you know, what Stetson's able to do and, and how he's able to navigate everything that's put on him as the quarterback? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously being the quarterback for any team is a big role. Um, he's done it for two, two and a half, three years now. So, I mean, yeah, he's played in huge games. I know he's this isn't any different for him. Like, he's he's been in these moments. He's He's played in big games like this. 
So I know he's going to be confident. He's going to come out ready. And I mean, we have full faith in him as our quarterback. All right, let's take one more. Put my way into it here. As an offensive player, when you go inside to a good place like Mercedes Benz, mm -hmm. you know what the conditions are going to be like. There's no no wind, no rain. Right. The turf is the same. Does that give you guys in, in any certain way like extra confidence? Does it? Could you like be more aggressive, for example, something like that, because you know what it's going to be like there in that in that facility yeah. on the field. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not real sure if it's like a different level of how we're going to play or how we're going to attack anything. Uh. I mean, yeah, that's a, that's a, I guess that's a question for, for um, our coaches. But, I mean, yeah, we're just going to kind of go out and, I mean, I know I am and I know the other players are going to go out and attack it like we do every week. And whatever they call, we, we're the ones that got to go execute it. So, yeah, just do our assignment and, uh, yeah, just play our game. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.